Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do a bonus reading. This is going to be for the full moon in Aquarius for 11th and 12th of August 2022, Thursday and Friday. It is going to be a general reading, guys, but specifically um, I'm, I'm planning to focus on the Twin Flames and Soulmates, right? So yes, but it's a general reading, guys, so it will not resonate with all of you in case you want to get deeper insights into your own situation. And if you don't want to reach out to me, all my details are given below in the description box. Thank you for thank you so much, guys, for all your love and support. Thank you, subscribers. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for everything, guys. Thank you. I love you. Okay, guys, so let's just jump right in. Um, I was hearing that a way of living is coming to an end, right? So a lifestyle, somebody's lifestyle, they might have thought that this is the way to live, but it's actually this person, this could be you, this could be your person, right? So they are realizing that this is actually not the way. Of course, there is a lot of comfort, luxury, people around me, but there's actually no one who loves me and appreciates me for who I truly am. So that way of living is coming to an end. I was hearing that very strongly. Let's see what's happening, please. These are heavy cards. Okay. So angels, what's happening to the full moon in Aquarius, please? 11th and 12th of August, 2022. What's happening to the full moon, please? Okay, no, not that one. Not that one. Okay, this one. Hmm, messenger of Earth. So yes, somebody is realizing what they want for their future. They're really focused on getting there, slow and steady. Okay, we have Ten of Fire. Okay, so this is like the Ten of Wands. You could be seeing a lot of deers or red birds around you in your reality. Maybe pictures or symbolisms of deers with antlers or red birds. There's a red bird here. Okay, let me just get two more cards and then we'll dig deeper what's going on. Okay, we have Witch of Fire. Wow, so this is like the Queen of Wands. And one more card, please. Ace of Water. Wow. At the bottom of the... Oh my goodness. We have Two of Water, Craftsman, and Ace of Water. Wow. Okay, guys. So I feel... There are two people here, of course, as I was channeling for the Twin Flames and very strong soulmates. Um, if you are a woman, a feminine, you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your twin or your soulmate could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's, it's really just energy, guys, so um, don't worry about that, okay? Uh, but the thing is... This person here, this air sign man, this person is really focused on there's some creative ideas going on in this person's mind. And they are calculating. This is a very in-depth calculation. And this person is trying to conjure up most probably a relationship with you with the two of water, two of cups, and the ace of water, ace of cups, okay? So if you notice in this card, there are two otters, right? One, one, I, I believe this is the divine feminine because she's already in the water. The other, the male otter, the divine masculine is, is just really trying to analyze whether or not I should go into the water. Is it right for me to jump, to dive in into, into all this love and emotion? But the thing is, his tail is already in the water, so he has already gotten a taste of what it feels like when, you know, when he's in love, when he is, when his emotions are really high, especially when it comes to his divine feminine here. Divine feminine is not pulling him in, 
right? He's, she's not pulling him in. She's just looking at him and she's trying to understand. She's trying to encourage him to do what he feels right. And she's also trying to understand what is going on in his mind. But she's not pulling him in. She's just watching because she knows sooner or later he's going to dive in, right? Otters made for life and once they meet it's it's in like it's forever there's no going back even if um, even if one author dies the other author always remains single right so that's how deep their love is for each other so yes this person this air sign is looking at their future now they're analyzing calculating what they want in their life and with a ten of fire here uh, it, it could be that th this person is thinking about taking you out on a candlelight dinner. We have a lot of candles here. But this is also about gaining strength. To go deep into the dark jungle and there's a red bird sitting there on the branch. Right? So it, it's like this person is being guided to walk into the unknown and face what's there. Try because this person could have tried to avoid going into the unknown for a very long time. Messenger of Earth is like the Knight of Pentacles. It takes a lot of time for this knight to come in, right? This person has tried to avoid, they have tried to do everything to avoid going into the unknown, especially with the Divine Feminine here. So the Divine Feminine, there could be you could be also seeing a lot of otters and snakes, right, in your reality. So all these symbols, frogs, snakes, otters, deers, red birds, all these symbols are trying to tell you that, that your twin flame, your soulmate, right, that they know what they want for their future and they are always thinking about you when it comes to their future. So... The Witch of Fire here, Queen of Wands, it's like she has inspired this, this king, like craftsman of air, king of swords here, to face the unknown, to face their fears, right? Because this here, Witch of Fire, look, she's standing in a cave, there's, uh, she's, and she's like, she's, she's trying to summon something and she's not scared of the darkness, whatever ill will, whatever darkness, whatever is it, it is that's coming her way, she's ready to face it. And there's something very intense about her eyes, the way she looks, right? It's like she's very wise and she's a very old soul. She understands. You could be someone who really picks up, picks up on other people's energy and you can see lies, deceit, bullshit from a mile away, right? That That's how intuitive or psychic um, you could be. Um, you could be an empath as well because we have water here. So yeah, you could feel other people's emotions and it's like it's somebody cannot make a fool out of you that easy because you, you understand energy, right? With the queen of wands here, which are fire. So wow, this is a very powerful energy for the full moon, guys. A lot of transformation going on. And this person here, this masculine, is definitely wanting um, to, to have this new beginning here. But because they are undergoing a lot of changes, they are afraid to dive in. But see how focused this person is now. See, we, <laughs> we have the Knight of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So um, this could be any earth sign here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? So see, <laughs> just see how they both are looking at each other. Oh, it's so cute, right? Yeah, but see how the masculine here, he's, he's, just, he's just about to dive in because the tail is already in water. And he can feel how good it feels, right? How refreshing and um, calming this is, this water is. Let me just try and jump in, dive in. So yes, 
This person is about to do something and this is a long time coming. With this full moon here, this person could be um, taking action very soon. They're, they're ready, almost ready to face the unknown. All right, let's see what else for the full moon in Aquarius, please, for 11th and 12th of August, 2022. What's happening here, please, for the full moon? Wow, two of swords. Yes, see, so this person could have tried to fight this for a very long time. All this time, their ego was winning, even though their higher self was trying to guide them. This person was really very indecisive. They just didn't know what to do. Ten of Cups, yes, but now this person is actually planning to come back into union with you. They are planning a reunion or a meetup. This could be a meetup, Ten of Cups. The thing is that this person is in love with you. Of course, this is a divine masculine, be it a twin flame or a soulmate. So yes, divine masculine is always eternally in love with the divine feminine even though they fail to show that sometimes because of their matrix reality their social mental conditioning right <clears throat> okay so yes but this person is in love with you and yes it's a blessing coming your way very soon with the rainbow what else for the full moon please 11th and 12th of august Mm. Wow, the hermit in the river. So this person is extremely lonely. Even though there are people around them, all this luxury and life that they have created for themselves, they are still lonely. There's no one to truly understand them, no one to truly appreciate and accept them for who they are. This person could also be getting a lot of nightmares, we have Virgo energy uh, with the Hermit. Okay, what else for the full moon, please? Okay, so Five of Wands. Five of Wands, okay. So this person has been very conflicted because, and this could actually be coming from other people around them, right? So even though this person feels lonely with these other people, for some reason, this person might have tried to get a counseling from some, some other people around them, right? To understand what their point of view is. But the thing is, these other people, whoever these people are, friends, family members, colleagues, etc., they have different opinions. Like they are not approving of this connection, Okay, and everyone could be like standing firm on their opinion. There's no one opinion that this this person, this masculine could come on. There was like, so yeah, it was very conflicting. So this person, this masculine might have thought that it's better to just stay away from all these people and just be, and it's better to just be by myself. Okay, so yeah, we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. So whatever life, again, whatever life they have created for themselves, their mentality, their point of views all over the years, it's just, it's just getting knocked off with the lightning and thunder here. And the thing is that there is very little time for this person to actually um, regroup themselves, right? To, to, um, to brace themselves. So yeah, this, it, this is a very conflicting, lonely energy. Let's see, why is the Five of Wands here, please? Thank you. Hmm. King of Wands. So yes, um, even though... So, okay, so this is a good news, actually. This person is now very decisive on what they want based on their passion so you're you are the passion right this person is not feeling emotionally very conflicted as they were feeling before it's like this thing this connection my divine feminine she gives me life she rejuvenates me she makes me feel better 
and she, she makes me feel happy about myself, about like what who I am. So I'm going to go with it. So whatever this conflict was, or if it's still going on, it's it's soon to like it's about to come to an end very soon. If the five of wands was in the reverse, then it could have said that you know this is this is just going to continue for some more time. But five of wands in the upright is telling us that this conflict, whether it's within themselves, whether it's with other people, it's coming to an end very, very soon. Okay, what else for the full moon, please? 11th and 12th. Yeah, the star. We have the. Okay, so we have Aquarius energy, full moon in Aquarius. Things are looking really bright from now on. This full moon in Aquarius is bringing in a lot of inner balance. Just one second, guys. Yeah. So. <laughs> So there was a notification on my phone. It like it's it's a YouTube reminder that there is a new song, and the song is called "More to Life." Now, see that's a synchronicity. This person is truly understanding that this is not the way to live. There's more to life, and with the Aquarius energy here, there's a lot of inner balance and healing coming to this connection to you to this person this is a beautiful healing energy manifesting with this full moon in aquarius this person could also see you as someone very glamorous very fabulous very in control of your thoughts your emotions right very beautiful so yes let's see um, there's something about a dress which is slit, like slit, um, one could see one leg, it's a slit dress, right? I love these dresses, so yeah, there could be something about a slit dress, okay? Yeah, it's funny because um, just today in the morning, I had a dream of Angelina Jolie, and I also dreamed about my twin, okay? So yeah, Angelina Jolie. I've seen a, a, like quite a lot of pictures of her, um, award shows, something like that. And she has, she likes to wear these slit dresses and one could see one leg, right? So yeah, something about Angelina Jolie, if that resonates with you, but yeah. Okay, but yeah, there's a lot of beautiful healing coming to this connection. Let's see, what else, please? What else for the full moon, 11th and 12th of August? What else does the collective need to know, please? Wow. We have the death, Scorpio energy, queen of wands. Oh my goodness. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, guys, you both could be fire signs. And we have the Page of Pentacles again, a very creative, experimentative way to come forward with some kind of a gesture, some kind of communication. This person could be very soon, <clears throat> like sending you a small text, experimenting, um, trying to test the waters and they could be doing that when they are completely feeling lonely and they're very, like there's no one around them. This person could be texting you late at night perhaps, okay? But this is like a brilliant creative idea that's coming to them and it feels like they're just going for it. They're going to do it. Um, with the death card here, separation from you has made this person realize what you mean to them and it's like now they are really scared to lose you again right they can't go we have scorpio energy again so yes something about a great transformation queen of wands again we have the queen of wands here which are fire she's also wearing maroon 
The Queen of Wands here is also wearing maroon. Something about the color maroon, but the Queen of Wands here, she inspires people to face their fears, to do their best. She's very intuitive and almost all the times she is right about what she feels, right about her guidance. So yes, and Queen of Wands in this deck is the most beautiful queen of, of them all. She's prettier than the star. She's prettier than the empress even, right? So yes, you. this person finds you extremely beautiful, bold, daring. <clears throat> this person is in love with you. They're in awe and it's like they're trying to level up. Okay, let's let's move the cards a bit here so that you can see them clearly. So yeah, guys, <clears throat> this is beautiful energy coming in. Wow, four of wands was there at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else for the full moon, please. What what else is happening? Eleventh and twelfth of August. What does the collective needs to know, please? Oh my god, see Knight of Swords. So yes, this is communication coming in, guys. This could very well be your twin flame with the king and the queen of swords. Oh sorry, yeah, you could be an air sign also, right? Uh, with the king and queen of wands is what I meant. And yes, let's see. So yes, the knight of swords here. This is like this this person is now they're learning to communicate with you this is not the king of swords although there is the king of swords here right but their communication is like they still need to work on it there could have been a little bit of some kind of an immature communication in the past this person is trying to be a little more mature about it they're trying to express it like what they're feeling what they're thinking but yes, they're definitely coming in with communication here. Wow, Knight of Cups. Yes, <laughs> this person is coming in, guys, okay? This could actually be... Um, this could actually be on the full moon itself. Full moon in Aquarius, right? Or this could be within four to five days from now. But whatever this communication is, it's happening because of the energy of the full moon in Aquarius. Right? So yes. Wow. So with the Knight of Cups here, Knight of Swords, we have, again, we have air sign. It could be an air sign, could be a water sign. So we have strong air. We have all the signs, actually. We have all the signs here. Hmm. So, Seven of Cups, yes. Again, this person is looking for the best way to communicate with you, right? You could be having dreams about this person or you are about to have dreams on the full moon, right? Th that could also be a sign that this person could be coming in very soon with communication, maybe within four to five days. Okay, is there anything else, angels? Hmm. Yeah, nine of wands. Oh, wow. They are being guided. They are being supported to take the stand, to fight for their situation, right? So... This person could also be actually struggling financially because I don't know why I just got drawn to this pentacle. Uh, this person is wearing a necklace. There's a pentacle there, but it in first look, I thought that it's broken. So it could be that this person is struggling financially, but they are actually looking for creative ways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they are understanding here that if I... If I just keep focusing on my finances, this opportunity is just going to go. I'm going to miss this opportunity here, right? So yes, um, a lot of calculation, 
lot of in-depth um, analysis, right? You can say anything, but yes, this person, I don't feel this person is going to waste more time. <sighs> yeah, and but there's something about dreams here on the full moon. Really focus on your dreams, guys. You can just write your dreams down in a journal, in a journal, and you can just, you know, later on, after a few months or whenever you feel like in the future, you can refer to your dreams because there's always a pattern. You'll understand what they're trying to tell you telepathically, perhaps. So, yes. So, okay. So, anywhere between four to nine days, this, this, this energy, this communication could be coming in for some of you. Okay, so yeah, a general reading, so I will not say for all of you, so yes. Okay, so any guidance for the collective, please? Any guidance for the collective, for the full moon? Wow. We have the Emperor, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this Emperor here, and again we have the King of Wands and the... Oh my God! <gasps> We have the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Guys, there's heavy fire here, heavy fire element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So yes, this person is about to take action. They're about to take leadership because they do want this, this passionate new beginning with you, right? It, it's not leaving them alone. It's it, this this thought of you, this constant obsession that they're you know they they keep obsessing about you here. It's very evident that they're always thinking about you. So yes, they can't take it anymore. They're about to take action with the King of Wands in this deck. They're ready to accept criticism as well from you. There's something about lizards. There's a lizard here, there's a lizard here, something about lizards, guys. Okay, so for me, lizards are an omen of negativity. Whenever I see a lizard or in my surroundings, I know something negative is about to happen and the universe is trying to warn me to brace myself to keep balance no matter what. So yes, this person, it's like they want to put an end to the negativity they're trusting their intuition with the crescent moon and they are about to take leadership because with the queen of cups here only it looks like that you are the only one who understands them their emotions their heart and they know this even though they might have tried to pretend that they don't care in the past they know that the Deep within, like, you're a beautiful woman, just not by your face or your body, but your soul. It's your essence that draws this person in, this masculine in, right? So yes, with the Queen of Cups here again, you are you could be someone very intuitive, an empath perhaps, a psychic, but somebody who absorbs energy very easily from other people. And that is why... You know, you just know what's going on. You just know, right? Okay, so very quickly, we'll just get some messages from the universe. What does the universe want to tell the collective, please? What does the universe want to say to the collective for the full moon in Aquarius? Give yourself much more credit, okay? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so if you were trying to be, you know, uh, it's like people around you understand, they know how truly powerful you are, but sometimes it could be that, that you yourself don't acknowledge yourself in that way, right? So yes, the universe is telling you that it's time that you give yourself much more credit and you realize how very powerful you are with this gift here that you can absorb energy, you can understand energy and you can just know what's going on with other people. 
whether it's good energy or bad or deceptive energy you just know what's going on so it's a gift give yourself much more credit those you love love you yes so there's no doubt about that this person this masculine is eternally in love with you it's just that they are realizing this now very strongly they might have always known but now with this full moon in aquarius yeehaw they're coming in guys they're sitting on their horse not literally like metaphorically right but how funny that would be that they're sitting on a horse and coming towards you um it's it's quite cool actually anyway so yes this person could be coming in very soon taking action towards you you were born with that it quality and this person knows that what you have no one else does right you are for them and this is also like if you have this intuitive gift it's time for you to do something about about that right you can really use this gift for the service or betterment of other people humanity your community right so yes you were born with that it's quality you could be a born psychic you might have always known that there was something different about you since childhood you could have struggled to make friends um, since since childhood right because you were always different you never fit in so yes it's time you embrace that extraordinary uniqueness and just just open yourself up to the world guys it's time okay you are beautiful turn on your love light yes turn on your light let people see you and th this could also be this person telling you, give them a sign that you still want this because this person could be a little bit nervous to come towards you, okay? Because with all, with all that creative calculations and analysis, this person could be a bit um, nervous to come towards you, yeah. So they could be asking you for a sign and enjoy your extraordinary unique uniqueness see i said that <laughs> you are beautiful you are unique go with it guys just don't hide hide yourself anymore go with it your treasure is at hand wow this person is coming in guys it's a treasure right it's a beautiful gift a blessing wow so if you have been single for quite some time get ready guys because i'm seeing here a lot of positive changes and you could be coming into a relationship of some kind like a full-on relationship for some of you or it could be that this person is now actually wanting to date you step by step and to see where things can go right for some of you so yes you, I don't think you're going to be single for too long now, right? Because we do have the death here. This person could be asking you out on a dinner date, perhaps. For some of you, you could go dancing. Triple, double, three, double, three on the clock, guys. I'm telling you, it's coming. And the queen and king of wands. So yes, a couple. All right, guys, this was our reading for the full moon in Aquarius. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.